So I'm going to show you how to play uh, wrapped in piano strings. Um, before I start, my guitar is tuned down a half step and then capo to the second fret. If you're in standard tuning, you can just capo to the first, it'll be the same. Um, and I'll refer to chords by their formations. Um, so I'll call that a D. I mean, technically a D sharp, but I figure it's easier just to go by the basic formation. And then you can play it wherever you want based on uh, whatever key is easy to sing in. So uh, let's see. This song revolves pretty much around three chords. Outside of two little sections, that's it's all the same three chords. <laughs> Pardon me. So the first chord is an A, and then you have an E, and then you have that's just a version of a D, which is just open on the third string or the D string. Um, second on the fourth, second on the fifth, open on the sixth. So. Back to the E. So a lot of the song revolves around this, and in the beginning it's it's finger picked, and uh, but there's some hammering in there. It's on the fifth string, just kind of between open and the second fret, like uh, it's essentially just doing this and transferring between the chords. So all together it would be like. Last time you come around to the E, all it's doing is, you know, basically scaling up from the high E. So, so you just do an E formation. So six five four. Um, so all together it'd be. Once the singing starts, it's just the same three chords but strummed. So. And it does that twice with the vocals, and then the next part, the into the air bit, it's just doing the same thing but louder. So. do my best to explain this. Alright, so the solo is just basically, it revolves around an open A and an open D. Um, so I'll play it once and then I'll just call out what the, the frets are. Um, that is is uh, basically open on the A for most of it and it's just 2nd fret, 7th fret, ninth fret, ninth on the 4th string. And that's just open 2, 7 on the 3rd and on the 4th string 6th fret. So all together it's couple chords are and all that is is open on two six on three four on four so and then it slides up to the six on the fourth seventh on the third ninth on the third and then you're just going to the open D string and that's nine eleven Sixth. So again, all together it'd be. It would not be that. Be. And it just does that twice. Um, 
might take a little bit of practice. I still screw it up all the time because I'm not that good at guitar. So, um, but anyway, so yeah, on the second time around, it just basically slides back up to this A, which is uh, open seven nine. So this will be the last rotation and how you kind of get back from that this chord back into the next verse. So. It's the same chords again, it's just played a little differently. Um, so all it is, you kind of hit the E's a lot harder, so... we're going into, um, this is the only time the chords really change, uh, and that's, basically it's an F sharp minor formation, except we won't use either of the E strings, so 1 and 6, ignore them, and it's 2, 4, 3rd string, 4th fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, open, so the chord would be... So it's just that, F sharp into E major, so to D major, into an A. And on the A, you kind of just hit the chords out to what the vocals are doing, the pattern. So all together, that section would be... into the chords the way you played them in the intro, so. And then the whole rest of the song is just the same three chords again, really loud. Do that to the end. Um, so really a lot of the changes in the song come from accompaniment, not really from the bass chords. So it should be pretty easy to learn. Um, hopefully I explained it clear enough. Um, so yeah, good luck. <laughs>